Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Tonight's tutorial is how to import JPEGs and RAW files into Lightroom. I had a request that asked for people that were new to how to upload images into your computer and then how you actually import them into Lightroom and then how do you export from Lightroom the RAW file into a JPEG. So I've created a number of ways of doing that tonight and I'll walk you through in the following tutorials. Okay, so I'm just going to walk you through <clears throat> how I actually upload my images into my laptop, load them into Lightroom, and then I'll show you how you can see your JPEGs and your RAW images together. So I put my memory card into my card reader and then that will prompt a message on my laptop. So that's the memory card inserted into the card reader. <clears throat> In my workflow, I use Adobe Bridge, so Adobe Bridge will pop up. There'll be many ways that you can copy your files onto your laptop. You can do it manually and there'll be other software packages that may pick up and help you load your files across. So what I'll do is I'll select the directory that I want to save these images in. So earlier today I went out and I took some quick shots that would allow me to show you if I just select photos, create that folder, select open and now I'm going to implement and import the images from the card reader into this directory. <clears throat> so what I was explaining earlier was I went out and I took photographs, I intentionally set up my camera that it would do a dual image, so it took a RAW file and a JPEG file at the same time. Just so I can show you how I import JPEG and RAW files into Lightroom and let you see the process that I follow. So once Adobe Bridge is finished, it will then come up and it will show me a whole series of thumbnails of the RAW and the JPEG images that it's uploaded into this directory. And then once that's completed, so there we have it, you've now got duplicate images, one's a RAW file and one's a JPEG file. Now what I'll do is I'll move into Lightroom and I'll walk you through how I import those photographs into Lightroom and then we'll be able to show you how the RAW files and the JPEG files look. Now what we want to do is select file and then import our files. But before we do that, in order for you to be able to see both JPEGs and RAW files together, what you do is select on Lightroom, select Preferences, and then down here make sure that Treat JPEG Files next to RAW Files as a separate photo is selected. And then that way when you import, that will also bring in JPEGs and RAW files together. Because if you import your RAW files and you've got JPEGs on your memory card or in a storage area, and they, they won't automatically load. So that's how you get to see your both your JPEGs and your RAWs in the, in the one place. So if I now do File Import, and then look for my files, and we are here. April, import files, select my folder, and there we have the images, and I'll just press import, and then what's that, that's then importing the raw file and a JPEG file, so you can tell by pressing on the file, and you can see the description, you can see the file name, so what we'll do is, I'll go into develop, and as you can see down here, it's a CR2 extension, so this is a raw file. So, if I just make some quick edits, the other thing I was also asked was, how do you then save your files from Lightroom? So, what we do in Lightroom is you do an export. So, if I go back to the library, and if I do edit, select all, then if I do File, Export, 
then what you've got to do is select, remember and choose the directory that you want to save your files. So if I go back in here, find a directory that I actually used just for the tutorial purposes, select this directory. Again, further down you can update naming conventions. Now what you can do is you can limit the file size so when it saves the file it will be below a certain threshold. So I've set these to 20, 20k. Um, also color space is sRGB and all I need to do now is click export and that will automatically export all those files into that folder. Now the one thing you'll bear in mind is the more photos you have the longer the export process takes and it can sometimes take a while so it's best sometimes to go and get a tea or a coffee and then come back. Um, and again, it's all down to the performance of your laptop or your PC as well. So there is another way to save files, but this is the optimal way of doing saving all your files and exporting them all from Lightroom over into your hard drive. So the other thing I'll show you now is a quick way, if you're doing an edit, so that's the raw file. Now what I can do is do edit and then what I want, photo, edit in and then edit in Photoshop. And then what I'm now doing is opening up this raw file in Photoshop. So if I want to make some final tweaks to this image using Photoshop, I'll just quickly show you how you can save that raw file and convert it to a JPEG. So all I need to do here is file, export, export as JPEG, select the file location, hit save, and there you have it. That's how you save an individual raw file from Photoshop and convert it to a JPEG. Well, I hope you found that useful tonight. Thanks for joining me on my channel, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope it was helpful to understand how to import files into Lightroom and then how you can export either from directly from Lightroom or go into Photoshop and then save that raw file as a JPEG as well through the export facility. So thanks for joining me tonight. If you enjoyed this, please give it the thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It's free. And if you press the bell notification, that will give you updates when I upload future videos. So thank you, and here's to the next video.